Five years ago, a man's fantasy became reality. In a form never seen before, a giant cooking arena, a kitchen stadium. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a to realize his dream, he first secretly started selecting the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Masaharu Morimoto. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. The Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where you will meet the master chefs from around the world and their artistic creations. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, to date, we have had 13 female challengers. The very first was only 26 years old at the time. She was Kyoto Kagata. She was very quick in her movements, yeah. You know, she had a lot of energy. That was my first impression of her. Despite her youth, she not only impressed everyone, but succeeded in defeating Chen Kenichi. Afterwards, she began to develop her skills further under Chef Shimamura at the Royal Park Hotel. Two years later, she married a co-worker at the hotel. Everything was going well. But... After only a year, she divorced and suddenly quit the hotel. The divorce changed everything. I'm now committed to starting a brand new life as a chef and as a woman. To start a whole new life, she opened a French restaurant with her relatives. And I received a letter challenging the Iron Chefs once again. We should be man enough to accept this challenge. Today's challenger, a female chef, off to a fresh start in life. Chef of Anne Monrev, Kyoko Kagata. She has said goodbye to the giant kitchen of a hotel. Working in a small kitchen has added an extra flair to her dishes. Now I listen more to the individual guests' likings, trying to reflect that in my dishes. And I'm really learning a lot, and I've changed. Karata has broadened her horizons. Her world transcends standard recipes. Her feminine arrangement elevates them. After five turbulent years, she is back again to outdo and renew herself. So now, Kagata, make this a start of your new life here in the Kitchen Stadium. I'm going to do my very best for the new me.
かつて鉄人を破り業界を驚かせた料理界のヤワラちゃんその彼女が再度自分の料理を見つめ直すためにこのキッチンスタジアムに戻ってまいりました料理をしてきれなかった三十一歳さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください御殿場アンモーレンシェフ川田キョコ Entering Kitchen Stadium familiar territory for this still young lady who defeated Chen Kenichi five years ago at a mere 26 years of age. She's had some ups and downs in life since then. She's here, she says, to find herself in new directions as a chef, her devotion to cooking unchanged. Nice to see you again. Yes, thank you. Yes. I quit the hotel and am cooking at a small restaurant. It's very stimulating to be able to sense the responses of my guests a little bit more directly. That's the major change that I see in my life, I would say. Thank you very much. Okay. Chefs, truly seasoned men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Masahara Morimoto. Beat one of them and create your own culinary legend. Chen san, once again, please. Oh no, not again, he says. Yes, Chen, once again, Kagata wants you. Trying for her second straight win over the Iron Chef Chinese. Five years ago, Chen lost to Kagata, and now the stakes are even higher. A second loss would be humiliating for the son of the god of Sejuan cooking. Chen will surely rise to the occasion today. We expect to see an all-out, take-no-prisoners effort by the Iron Chef. <laughs> そこで迷える子羊と思ったのですが今回は羊ではなく極上のあれをフランスから取り寄せました総額80万円それでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマは「子牛」Still youthful challenger Kagata, who once defeated Chen Kenichi, is back in town, trying to find some answers in her life and profession. That's all fine and dandy with the Iron Chef, except don't even think about dropping him a second time. He needs to win today. On it, Kizin! Opening gong, battle begins in Chen with just a perfunctory wave to the challenger. So Kyoko Kagata reprises her battle against Chen five years ago. The theme then was scallops. Today it's veal. As she makes her way up to the ingredient stand, Chen the first to get his hands on the veal. Sorry to interrupt this early. I just wanted to add a comment about the veal. This okay. is top of the notch stuff. It's called Vaudelet de Sulamer, and it's grown by wow. a top veal producer from Bordeaux. It's great stuff. Okay, and the chairman says we're looking at about 8,000 bucks worth of veal meat here. Yeah, you know, even in France, only the very best three star restaurants can get their hands on this veal. It's actually milk fed veal. Okay, that is the best. And with such extraordinary meat as the theme, Kagata back in Kitchen Stadium second time. In fact, she was the first woman chef to compete on the program and with her win against Chen, in addition to breaking that barrier, she became the youngest challenger to ever take down an iron chef. And she is working the veal right now out of the gate. Fukui-san? Yes, go ahead, Ota. I asked Iron Chef Chen how he feels about being chosen by the same challenger again, and he said, hey, this is really tough. I am well acquainted with the members of her family, and because of that, it's an emotionally tough rematch. All right, but looks like emotions have been put aside there, sawing through the veal. Five years ago, when he met Kagata in the battle, he told us he thought, oh, we have a cute little girl today, and said he couldn't or didn't concentrate too much on the cooking that day. <laughs> he added he knows that sounds like an excuse for his loss. At any rate, he'll be going full bore in this one. Okay, and now let's move on to introducing our guests for this veal battle. First, next to me, actress Kayoko Kishimoto. Thanks for coming in today. It's nice to be here, thank you. You were here for the blue crab battle with Iron Chef Italian Kobe. Yes. 
So, yes. Kishimoto-san, it's been quite a while for you to taste Iron Chef Chen's dishes, right? Oh, yes, you're quite right. Yeah. Well, you know, we checked more than a year ago. Oh, that really makes me look forward to today even more. Great, and we've got recording artist Korn. How are you doing? Your fourth time to be in that seat, Korn. But this will be your first time to taste Chen's dishes. Yeah. Looking forward? Yeah. Good. And, of course, our commentator who remembers well what happened five years ago between these two chefs, we've got Dr. Yukio Hattori. Always a pleasure. Fukui-san. Yes, go ahead, Ota. The Iron Chef just broke his saw while cutting the meat, <gasps> so he's gone back to the primitive approach using a cleaving knife. All right. And che Ooh, yes. No oh, hacksaw yeah. Reynolds there in slow-mo. Yeah, he's going to get kicked out of the Carpenter's Union for that. <laughs> and that got him excited, too. And Fukui-san. Yes. Asked why she wanted this rematch with the Iron Chef, uh, the challenger Kagata told me that she just wanted a second chance to prove herself, that's all, and humbly asks Chen San to kindly accept this challenge as it's intended. All right, well, we spoke with her earlier today. She admitted that she became arrogant after her astonishing win over Chen, but along the way, she has taken a few lumps and also leaving the Royal Park Hotel, where she worked eight years, helped to open her eyes to reality, and she's got her own restaurant now on the outskirts of Fukuisan. Tokyo. Yes, Ota. In this tray, the Iron Chef has veal, which has been pounded and flattened, and now being spread with basil paste as well. Okay, that's basil. Yes, that's that's right. So, the Iron Chef Chinese resorting to an Italian ingredient for the, one of his dishes here. And fukui -san? Yes, go ahead. Commenting on how she believes she has changed over the last five years, uh, Chef Kagata says, I've improved in my cooking skills while experiencing some turbulence in my life, and I want Chen San to see how I've developed as a chef as well as a person. Develop? Yes, she was only 26 years old when she came in here and battled against Chen five years ago. She just turned 31 recently. And up in the royal box, looking on today, family members, her uncle to the left, who's the co-owner of her restaurant, he's Nobuhiko. Also up there is her mother, Reiko, a proud mother today. And Kagata says she'll show us how she's developed as a chef through her dishes. She's got a rack of ribs settling in the frying pan. The Iron Chef now, Chen, has added soy sauce or something to the veal that he applied the basil oil. For grilling here? Hmm. It looks and like here comes a fat fruit. Yeah. Okay. Fukui-san. Go. Yeah, the bowl of fruit that Hattori-san just picked up on contains bananas, mangoes, pears, pineapple, mint, oregano, and rosemary. Wow. And the veal with the basil paste on it is also being flavored with not regular soy sauce, but Chinese bean paste soy sauce. Bean paste soy sauce. Oh, interesting. Basil and bean paste soy together. Kishimoto-san, how about that combo? Oh, it sounds good to me. Okay, now he's pulled out the fat netting here that we saw. Yes, Chen now planning to wrap with the fat netting. The reason is veal has a very low fat content, so he's going to try to add fat to whatever this is he's making. Okay, oh, wow. and look. Oh, fruit. Oh, fruit. yeah, fruit in there. Looks somewhat Cantonese. Yeah, sure does. Veal with fruit on top and wrapped with the fat netting. How will that be finished? Wow, and it's turning into a big item to boot. Squeeze oh, on. Go. I just overheard the Iron Chef mumbling something about the meat being very tender, almost like pork in color as well as texture. All right, he could work variations on some of his tried and true pork recipes. Yeah, that's true. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi in a veal battle Ooh, against Kyoko that. Kagata. And this from Challenger Kagata's side, what we're looking at? Yeah, she's preparing a pressure cooker Squeeze here. Go. In this pressure cooker, the challenger has ribs that have already been boiled once. Okay, ribs that have been boiled at the bottom of the pot. The question is, what else will she add to them? Now, let's get back over to the Iron Chef side. Oh, my, mm, Doc. Wow. Drop the whole thing in hot oil. <laughs> I never thought he'd be doing something like A this. Huge block being deep fried in the wok. Fukui-san. Yes. He also covered this with cornstarch before basting it. Cornstarch, the last touch before frying this one. Okay, now this is interesting because it's got fruit inside, right? Rather unusual, don't you think, corn? Yeah, plus it's fat netting fried in oil. Oil on fat. fukui -san. Take it. When I asked the Iron Chef what cuisine this was, he said this is my own original cuisine. It's to show Challenger Kagata new possibilities and directions in Chinese cooking. Us too, for oh, sure. I can't <laughs> even imagine that. Wow. This is done? Can't be, no. No, uh, I think he'll probably put this into the oven. Right, it's not thoroughly cooked yet. Well, not yet, not ready yet. Or maybe a salt crust grill. Look, the salt is out. Oh, yeah, that could be. fukui -san. Yes. Yeah, here in this large bowl, the Iron Chef has a mix of rock salt and egg whites. What do you know? Okay, well, that means it's a salt crust grill. You're right. <laughs> He's working on. 
for the item in the fat netting he was just frying. Right, now and I guess you'll encase this in salt and Go grill ahead, it. Go ahead, Ota. Yeah, I asked the challenger how she feels towards Iron Chef Chen, and she said, uh -huh. on the opening day of my restaurant, he kindly came over with some horse meat as a gift. Chen son is a real gentleman, and there's no reason for you to report any innuendos about anything going on between us. He's my mentor. <laughs> All right, honorable <laughs> intentions. Okay, now the Iron Chef here, we notice, if you can get a shot of it, is using grape leaves. Right, uh, right grape here. leaves. Yeah. Yeah, I think these are uh, salt cured, actually. Okay, oh. so the salt goes underneath this one. Well, no, actually, I think he'd probably cover the whole thing up. One more coating of salt, then. Well, what are the grape leaves for? I think for aroma. Aroma? Well, that's one. Also, maintaining a certain level of moisture is another reason, too. But normally, Chinese chefs use lotus leaves. Oh. Right? In Chinese cuisine, that's the usual M.O. And you know, grape leaves are used in many recipes in a lot of countries around, especially the Mediterranean Sea area. Sure. Uh, in fact, in Greece, they use them to wrap meat for grilling. They're actually really, really right. good. That's right. Yeah, that's one reason, but also maintaining a certain level of moisture is another. But you know, normally Chinese chefs use lotus leaves. Huh. Right. In Chinese cuisine, that is the usual MO. And you know, grape leaves are used in many recipes in a lot of countries around, especially around the Mediterranean Sea. Sure. As a matter of fact, yes. in Greece, they use them to wrap meat for grilling. Right. They're really, really good. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, Ota. I'm here on the challenger side where she has an item called a pallet knife. Pallet knife? Yeah, this one here. Yeah, this is the actual pallet knife that she was using in the kitchen stadium five years ago when she won. Evidently, she considers it a good luck charm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, she brought in her lucky pallet knife used in her first go around here. Will that knife do the trick today? Enough for her to bring home another W, make it two for two in kitchen stadium. Okay, let's look at the Iron Chef here. What's, what's in there? That's foie gras and veal. Wow. Yeah. Cuisson. Take it. Yeah, that's right. Leg meat, veal, fat netting, foie gras in the food processor. Okay, and he is now mm. blending them. Oh. The Iron Chef, as he mentioned earlier, is trying out many different things today, like a challenger. He's been very aggressive so far in this battle against the woman who once defeated Cuisson. him. Yes. Sorry, correction. The items in the food processor didn't include the fat netting. It was the fat from the veal. Okay, thanks for the correction. Now back over to the challenger side. What are these? I'm kind of wondering myself. And for Cuisson, Tell us, big fella. Sorry to interrupt again, but in this pan, the challenger has butter, foie gras, champignon, mushrooms, fond de veau, truffles, and uh, what else? Uh, scampi prawn. Okay, so he's got some prawns in there as well. You know, this is getting interesting. Mm. Foie gras, scampi prawns, truffles. What a rich looking dish. Yeah, it certainly sounds good. Uh, no objection to that. A little touch of sweetness to it as well. Mmm, maybe that's what we're catching a whiff of right now. Mm. And do I see some breadcrumbs here? What is this? Nuts? Yes. I can answer that. These are roasted walnuts. Wow. Oh, okay, oh. walnuts. Oh, how about that? Mm. Okay, uh, coat of chopped up walnuts here. So this is for grilling, I suppose. But with these big pieces, won't grilling be difficult, Doc? Well, that's true, but you know, in approach, this dish is quite simple, actually. So far, yes. But simple dishes really speak for the chef's real skill levels as well, though, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So this will be a good indicator on how much she has improved herself as a chef in the past five okay, years. Okay, we'll see Cuisant. how it turns out. Yes. Some of the other ingredients the challenger is using here are butter, laurel leaves, thyme, and garlic skins all underneath the meat. Okay, now we know what she's got in there. Okay, well, this type of veal goes extremely well with butter. Oh. It's a simple but profound in taste. So. And the walnuts will add an interesting texture component to the dish. Exactly. That's the reason why the walnuts now, look at the Iron Chef, time for truffles. Wow. Yeah. He's really being aggressive yeah, this really. time. Yeah, he's trying to invade the French cuisine boundary, it seems here. Starting with grape leaves, moving on to foie gras, and now his hands working with truffles. I believe they went into the mixing bowl there. The international version of Chen Kenichi today. Yeah, that's for sure. Totally yes. Is Chen deliberately adding a touch of French to his dishes as a secret weapon? He says that's not it. Uh, veal isn't used much in Chinese cuisine, so why stick to Chinese? He says he's experimenting a lot today and apologizes in advance to the tasters. Back to you. <laughs> Ever so humble. And yeah, it makes sense with veal. He's decided to go beyond Chinese cuisine borders today. Okay, now these are kinugasu mushrooms Ooh, here. Uh, Popular ingredient in Chinese cuisine. Yeah. Is that right? Now back on the challenger side. Oh Kigata. boy, look at this. Oh my, my, look at this. Wow. Boy, have you ever seen ham in this size? <laughs> Uh, so, this is a ham portion of the veal. Right, right. And since they were milk-fed, the taste is quite light, yet it has a really nice aroma to it. Right, could it be cutlet? A uh, cutlet, yeah, it could be. There are veal cutlets like this, like the Vienna-style schnitzel and other hmm. styles. And they usually stretch the meat like this. Stretch it out oh. by pounding. Yeah. 
and then they cover them with flour when they're done. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, I see. Now we're going to swing back to the Iron Chef. What's up here? No, maybe a cutlet as well. I don't know. Oh, okay. look, look, the seeds. What could they be? Hmm, what is this? Oh, it's sesame seeds. Sesame? A beef cutlet. Sesame yeah. seeds, not breadcrumbs. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. It is sesame. Indeed, moving in for a closer look, we'll get it up close. Chen giving the veal a coating of sesame seeds. Hmm, very interesting. For frying, then? Uh, I imagine, yeah. Okay, now, Kagata. Uh, that's what she was working on earlier. Yes, the one with the scampi she's prawns. Them. Oh, yeah. Uh, the prawns. Oh, on. Yes. Once again, the ingredients the challenger is folding or wrapping in veal are butter, champignon, mushrooms, scampi prawns, truffles, and fond de vol. Okay, that's what she was frying with butter, and after that treatment, now being wrapped in pounded flat veal. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, challenger Kagata. Now, 30 minutes gone, we enter the second half. Okay, now check this out. Kagata's now putting the huge piece of veal with walnuts covering the surface into the oven right now. Oh, so it's walnuts versus sesame seeds. The door closed tight. Yes, the subplot there. Yeah, yeah sesame sense. seeds and walnuts. Kagata using walnuts, Chen applying sesame seeds. What are you trying to say? <laughs> now the Iron Chef frying away. Well, so this is like a beef cutlet in a way. Oh, yeah. A sesame seed coated cutlet. Now, back to Kagata. What's she on to here? Kind of looks like blue cheese, doesn't okay, it? Okay, cheese. A blue oh. cheese. Uh -huh. And two types here? I think so. Cuisine? Tell. Yes, go ahead. Actually, three cheeses, Gouda, Camembert, and Gorgonzola are what Chef Kagata has prepared. Okay, so three types. Yes. She's goes big on cheese now. Well, gorgonzola is a type of blue cheese from Italy. Oh. Mm, and she's putting them in a pot. They're all three of them. Looks like she's going to make a sauce. Wow. Mm. And a sauce probably wouldn't be a bad idea because mm. cheese matches really well with veal, so this could be good. Oh, yeah. I've had grilled veal with cheese on top before. Yeah, it's a very good. popular dish, yeah. So she's working yeah. on a sauce for a grilled item here, I think. Uh, do we see pasta? Or the Iron Chef, pasta. Oh, he really is trying something different wow, today. Wow, Chen coming out of left field in this battle. What is with him today? Boy, combining French and wow. Italian. Discarding his standard Szechuan playbook, cooking on the fly, and now on the challenger side. What do we got here, a stew? Cuisine. Go. Reporting from the challenger side again, here in her pressure cooker, she has all kinds of things. Turnips, carrots, leeks, cabbage, celery, in a broth of sake, sweet sake, salt, ginger, and garlic, as well as veal ribs, of course, and water. Wow, what wow. a list. More than just your basic beef and vegetable stew there. Okay, now wait a minute here. She could be combining this with the cheese sauce that she had earlier. Remember that? Oh, and that oh, would be very that would interesting. Be interesting. Yeah, and also I think I see Chef Shimamura there, don't yeah, I? Yeah, Chef Shimamura. Kagata yeah. served her apprenticeship under him. Kind of like an apparition there watching over her. <laughs> Funny, we weren't told he was coming in today. Kagata learned everything about cooking from this man, the head chef at the Royal Park Hotel, and he's staying off to the side right now. Maybe he feels like he doesn't want to distract her with his presence, but he is watching very intently to see how his former apprentice is doing here today in the battle. You know, I don't even think that she's noticed him yet. No, I don't think so either. Yes. Speaking of Chef Shimamura, who still heads the kitchen of Royal Park Hotel, I've just received a message of encouragement for the challenger. It oh. reads, I wasn't able to be there for the battle five years ago, but I managed to open my schedule today for oh, this battle, nice which I know means a lot to her. I really wanted to see her in this showdown. I wish her good luck and just want to say, do your best. Oh, oh. boy. Oh. Surrounded by a lot of good people is the challenger, mm. Kyoko Kagata. Oh, speaks of her personality. Yes. Okay, now check this out. What the challenger is doing here is really important for this dish. Okay, yes, just like a turkey oh. basting the veal with the juices oh. coming out of the meat. Right. You know, by doing this, what she's doing is ensuring that the meat is cooked in a uniform fashion. It's not just going to be on the bottom. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh, I'm learning a lot today. Yeah, this <laughs> is a must-do operation for this dish. And most likely she'll do it a few more times. And now back to the Iron Chef, a flame or two shooting up and the fire of Chinese cuisine coming at you. Hot and spicy dish, perhaps. Finally, he's looking like himself again. Yes, our Iron Chef Chinese. Yeah. Now we're back on Chen's turf. It's the real deal at work. <laughs> The fire of Chinese cuisine coming at you. A hot and spicy dish, perhaps. Finally, he's looking like himself again. Yes, our Iron Chef Chinese. Yeah. Now we're back on Chen's turf, the real deal at work. <laughs> Cuisine? Yes. Yeah, the Iron Chef is using short loin veal here. He is stir frying the chunks which were battered with salt, soy sauce, Chinese rice wine, pepper, egg whites, and cornstarch. Mmm. Oh, oh, it's looking so, so good. Yeah, no doubt about that. His classic Chinese chops in action. You know, if he adds his pasta, it'll be like a Chinese version of spaghetti arrabbiata. Oh, yeah. You know, arrabbiata means rage in Italian, meaning something hot and spicy. Oh. You know? oh. 
<laughs> well, so that could be. You never know. All right, now back to the challenger. Looks like some melted butter. Right, exactly. She's making a clear butter sauce here, I think. Hmm. And probably the reason is she will use this for frying the cutlet. The, okay, the, cutlet. the cutlets. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that means it'll be a Milan style cutlet. Italian yeah. style. Hmm. Right, right, exactly. Beef cutlets, but they come with several tasty ingredients packed in them there. Yeah, it's a stuffed cutlet. Now they're being fried by the challenger. Fukuisan? Yes. I spoke a little more with Chef Shimamura on what he would like to see his former apprentice make here today, and he said she doesn't have to stick with what I taught her. She should be herself. She should create dishes that speak for her. With those, she can win. What I want to see her do is keep up the good work. All right, Ota. Thanks for the report. Dishes that speak of her personality. Ooh, here comes the sesame coated. Oh, yeah, on the orange side. Oh, it looks side. so great. Oh, it looks delicious. Yeah, this ought to be really mm, good. Look yes. At that. Well, I can hardly wait. <laughs> it looks just incredible there. It makes my mouth water. Well, not just that. I'm grateful to be here today. <laughs> uh, no one wants to give up their seat on the panel today? No, it looks too good. Oh, I want a piece of that, too, later, if I can. <laughs> All right, now the challenger with her Italian-style beef cutlets, and they seem to be done coming out of the pan. Boy, this mm. looks wonderful, too, doesn't it? Yeah. And again, once you cut into them, other ingredients in there to enjoy. That'll be special. Well, what's that black item? Yeah. Fukuisan? Yes, Ota. Those little black specks are minced truffles. She mixed them into the flour and bread comes before frying. Okay, even another element to the delectable looking cutlet and with the volume could be the main dish. But uh, yeah, all of her dishes seem to be coming in large portions for the tasters. Yeah. And hey, they'll be stuffed by the time Iron Chen's dishes are presented. Maybe that's the idea. And she's got another item in the oven that's quite large. Kagata's been quite aggressive, you could say, in terms of volume, Three quality, width, quantity, her approach today. Squeeze on. Yes, Ota. Let me go over the ingredients the Iron Chef has stuffed into these kinugasa mushrooms. Okay. Real ribs and ham, foie gras, sesame oil, fresh cream, salt and pepper, and cornstarch. These were all mixed in the food processor, along with truffles, too. Okay, well, Chen's gone all over the cuisine map in this one. A very artistic presentation here for the Iron Chef Chinese. He's flipping them over. Right. Okay, now back to the challenger. Oh, this is her stew. Yes, the challenger's pressure cooker has been open. Now we'll see the stew. Squeeze on. Yes. Opening up her pressure cooker, the challenger turned to me with a big smile on her face, and that means that this dish must have turned out well. Dish she feels very good about. Okay, look at this. She's going to have to slice this before serving. Hmm. Well, you don't need to pay me for this today. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> All right, and a huge block right there. A nice looking stew, definitely by the challenger. Yeah, and also in there some leeks, I think. Oh, nice. leeks. Yeah, huge scallions, so to speak. Oh, and here we come. Oh, yeah, on the Iron Chef side. Yes, here it is, coming out of the oven. Uh, the salt crust grill. Boy, it's so brown, look at that. It doesn't look wow. like a salt crust, more like a dirt crust. <laughs> he had that in an oven for a long time. And with grape leaves underneath the top layer of salt. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he has veal wrapped in a fat netting with all kinds well, of fruit. It looks like too. a huge piece of pastry from here. <laughs> yes. It does. And it the is a done biggest deal. Danish, yeah. <laughs> all right. And now she's got her wallet grill out of the oven. One minute left in the battle. Will he pour this over his spaghetti? The Iron Chef? Yeah. I guess so. That's the only way I could see it now. The spaghetti's got to have something to go right, with it. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, the veal battle, a rematch between the young woman who beat Chen five years ago, his pride really on the line, and today trying all kinds of new things. Hey, you were right. Oh, yeah. All right, now. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left. To Today, Chen can avenge the earlier defeat, but for Kagata, she can prove her win was no fluke. And Chen with pasta, one of his dishes yeah, today. Yeah, this isn't the TV dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it is, I'm buying, okay? And now the final seconds tick down, seconds 15 left. Kagata and assistants putting the finishing touches on an impressive collection of dishes. The five years of experience, will they show up in her dishes? Chen took her lightly five the last seconds. time, not this time. Three, Look at the two, Iron Chef, his one. face is apron. He's gone all out today, and that's it. The cooking's done. The veal battle is over. Was it different from the last time? I was really pressed for time. Really? I'm not saying I had time last time, but this time I was really pressed. I see. Even tough. so, how did your dishes turn out? Well, but I tasted some, and they were good, so I'm actually quite okay. satisfied. Great. Yes. You know, your former teacher, Chef Shimamura, yes. was here. Yes. Did you notice him yes. during the battle? Only at the very end of it, yes. I see. And how did you feel? <laughs> oh, well, I felt very honored. Uh -huh. I thank him for coming all this way. Very happy. So another victory today? Oh, no. I don't have the confidence, but I don't care about the results. How was it? Oh, I did my very best. I was uh, fully absorbed in cooking.
Yeah, I had fun. Fun? Yeah, I used a lot of new ingredients. I tried new things. A little like a challenger. Exactly, exactly. I put myself into a challenger's shoes. It was an all-out effort. Yeah. So, in the end, your dishes turned out well? <laughs> Uh, oh, well, I don't know. I always say that, right? But I did my best, so they're worth trying. Yeah. Challenger Kagata is offering four dishes. First, veal ham carpaccio, prepared shabu-shabu style. She added Parmesan cheese, basil, and lemon to heighten the flavor of the veal. Simple looking, yet profound in taste. Second, veal stew, cheese sauce. She's proud of the finish, with the veal absorbing all the flavors of the vegetables stewed together. To boost the flavor of milk-fed veal, she used a cheese sauce. Gorgonzola cheese is the key element to this dish. Third, veal cutlet. Scampi prawns and foie gras are packed inside the veal meat. The perigou sauce with truffles is a perfect match with this joyful dish. Last, veal grilled with walnuts. Her heart and soul went into preparing these veal ribs, which she grilled with a coating of walnuts, adding sweetness and aroma to the veal meat, which doesn't have a strong flavor. This wonderful union is accentuated further by a garnish of chestnuts. The Iron Chef counters with five dishes. First, veal and foie gras hors d'oeuvre. To tackle veal, a rare ingredient in Chinese cooking, he minced it, blended it with foie gras, and wrapped it in a kinogasa mushroom. Second, roast veal with white sesame seeds, accentuated by a spicy Chinese chili sauce. The savory white sesame seeds kick up the appetite of the tasters. Avocado and veal, stir-fried with milk, served on a bed of fried spring roll sheets. The subtle flavor of the veal harmonizes joyfully with milk in this Chinese dish. Fourth is Chen's main creation of the day, Salt Crust Grill. He succeeded in blending the rich flavor of fruit with the simple taste of veal encapsulated within the salt crust. All the tasters look forward to what comes forth from this. Last, Szechuan Veal Pasta, Italian looking but surely Chinese. An amazing encounter between Szechuan flavor and pasta. The sweetness of veal is key in the hot and spicy base. Today's challenger, Kyoko Kagata. Five years ago, she was the first female challenger in Kitchen Stadium. Lo and behold, she walked out of here with a win over this man who felt the sting of defeat, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. And she wants Chen one more time. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme. It is veal, giving a bit of an edge to the still youthful challenger. And Kagata prepares a set of four gorgeous dishes. The Iron Chef, pride at greater than usual stake, fights back with five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today are photographer Tenmei Kano, actress Kayoko Kishimoto, artist Korn, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Kagata. Veal becomes flaky very easily, even if you overcook it just slightly. So I was extra careful when I was cooking my dishes. This is beef, but more than that, it's tender, almost like chicken, and very light. The broth of the vegetables, it matches so well with the meat. You really did it. And combining the sweetness and the tenderness is great. You didn't pick any cheese. You added gorgonzola to give it zing to the taste buds. That's what makes the sauce outstanding. This sauce is really a success. You put something inside this? Yes, today I added foie gras. Oh, foie and gras. And prawns, long claw prawns. Prawns, uh -huh. okay. And I also uh -huh. added truffles and mushrooms. What on earth do you do to make cutlets so tender? <laughs> really? I've never had cutlet this tender before. <laughs> There is beef cutlet in Italian cuisine, but this is different. You can't get this anywhere else, even if you order for one. Now the veal grilled with walnuts is served by Kagata. Yes, but it would have been perfect if it had had more time, yes. The meat is very sweet, isn't it? And also, it's different from the veal dishes I've had so far, I think. It's great. Well, I think she's very good at finishing the veal in a very sophisticated way, you know, without relying on thick flavor only. You know what I'm saying? 
The first time she was a challenger, she came here with nothing to lose. She looked so innocent then. This time, she did a lot of thinking as to the ingredients she combined, using a lot of different techniques. She looks so innocent and cute, but her skill is so mature. I'm impressed. Iron Chef's going to have a tough day today. Yes. And now, the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. Hey, winning or losing is not so important. <laughs> yeah, it's imp it is important. You got me. <laughs> but this is kinugasa mushroom stuffed with paste, including veal. The fat of the veal is so nicely soaked up in the mushrooms. And also, the texture of the meat is just perfectly presented here. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's sort of crispy. Kinugasa mushrooms? Yes. Crispy and nice, and I was really able to experience the taste of the veal in this. Really? Yes, I did. Yes, uh, the ribs, roast. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's a little sweet and hot and spicy. It's a fantastic sauce. It's fantastic. I'm familiar with all the flavors in this, the spiciness and the sesame. It's simple, but speaks of the heights of his skill. That's his intention in this dish, I think. And here's the salt crust grill. How will the tasters react? Well, these are grape leaves. I'd be happy if you look at the fruit as a sauce for this, you know, very happy. The bananas are not so good. Don't eat the bananas. <laughs> hey, I already ate one. <laughs> when you eat the meat alone, it's a bit salty. Then you go for other sweet things around it. This is a borderless dish, Chen San style, nicely done Asian ethnic dish, I'd say. I like the fruit, some sweet, some sour, and the textures are different. Many experiences in this. A lot of variety in this dish. The flavor is like the hot and spicy tofu dish. I also used pumpkin. Oh, this pasta is beyond my imagination. You know, and I like the al dente finish. It matches well with the sauce. And the pasta, if it were too soft, it just wouldn't taste this good. This is a bit different from your usual hot and spicy dish. You use pumpkin, it adds natural sweetness to this, making it easy to eat. It's of course different from Italian meat sauce. A new flavor, I'd say. The pasta and the salt crust grill, all of his dishes were aggressive. We, the tasters, were surprised with each one of them and at the same time enjoyed his creations thoroughly. He tried to go beyond his boundaries today, and I respect that. Does respect equal a win, or will Kagata beat Chen again? We'll find out. What a storyline! Today's battle, a woman searching for new directions in her life, her profession, her former mentor and boss unexpectedly showing up to cheer her on, and challenger Kagata putting the squeeze once again on Iron Chef Chen with the superb set of veal dishes. The Iron Chef innovation with perspiration desperately trying to avoid another loss to Kagata. Was it enough? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef! Chen wins it! Round two, five years removed, he evens the score. His pride regained. Kagata, a great effort today. Even though Chen was jovial during the battle, you could sense he was churning inside no more. Okay, check the scores. Kano, 20 to 19 Iron Chef. Kishimoto, 20 to 19 Iron Chef. Korn, 20 to 19 Iron Chef. And Kishi, 19, 17 Iron Chef. A sweep for the Iron Chef. Fighting today with the challenger spirit. Stretching his winning streak to five. Mission accomplished, Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Kangata-san can already be considered a seasoned chef, you know? She should keep training her senses, uh, build on her confidence, to cater to the guests coming to her restaurant. 
She should be proud of her skills. I wish her good luck. She has great originality, and I wish from the bottom of my heart she receives a lot of attention as one of the top chefs in Japan. I came to realize how immature I still am in the battle. I still have a lot to learn, a long way to go. This was a wonderful experience for me, and it made me see the many possibilities in my style of cooking. Thank you very much. See you later.